Hello friends, in this video we are going to cover the muscles of the pectoral region where we have covered the pectoralis major muscles in the first video. The link has been given in the description box and we will continue in this video about the pectoralis minor muscle and subclavius muscle. Now what we have to write if a particular muscle they have given then what under what headings we have to write that muscle is the origin, insertion, nerve supply and action. Here pectoralis minor origin of this muscle is that four, third, fourth and the fifth ribs near costochondral junction whereas interviewing fascia covering external intercostal muscles. Here in this diagram we can explain the origin or we can see the origin of this muscle. Here it is the clavicle. Here the second rib is there. Third, fourth and fifth. From third, fourth and fifth that is near costochondral junction. The insertion part will be the medial border and the upper surface of the coracoid process of the scapula. Here scapula is there. Coracoid process is there. Medial border and the upper surface. Here we can name it as a clavicle, here it is a scapula where this is a coracoid process. Here we have named it third, fourth and the fifth rib. Now what is the nerve supply of this muscle? Same as that of the pectoralis major muscle that is medial and the lateral pectoral nerve. Then what are the actions? of this muscle is that it draws the scapula forward with serratus anterior. Along with the serratus anterior, this muscle that is a pectoralis minor muscle helps to move the scapula forward. Also, it depresses the point of the shoulder. In this way, under these four headings, we have studied the pectoralis minor muscle that is origin from the third, fourth and fifth ribs near costochondral junction, insertion will be at the coracoid process, that to medial border and the upper surface, nerve supply is same as that of the pectoralis major and action will be there. Now next we have to see about the subclavius muscle. Subclavius muscle, origin of this muscle is from the first rib at the costochondral junction, that is here it is the first rib at at this there is a costochondral junction and from here the subclavius muscle arises. It goes upwards and gets inserted at the subclavian groove in the middle one third of the clavicle. It is one third of the clavicle whereas it is the lateral part of the clavicle. Now here we have seen the origin and the insertion. The nerve supply will be the nerve to the subclavius which, which arises from the upper trunk of the brachial plexus and the action of the subclavius muscle is that it steadies the clavicle during movements of the shoulder joint. In this way we have seen the origin insertion nerve supply and the action of the subclavius muscle along with that we have seen the pectoralis minor muscle. In this way we have completed the muscles of the pectoral region. Thank you.